Hey everybody, welcome to that little bit extra kids church that you're looking for on a Sunday. So we've done church already with our families perhaps, some worship, some listening, uh, and you might have seen my kids spot. We did a few facts about Acts, so over the next few weeks we'll find some more things to teach you so that you understand the book of Acts. But the big picture of it is that it is all about the... Um, the spreading of the good news. And what's the good news? The good news is that Christ died for our sins so that we could have a life with God. So today I'm going to do a little object lesson in a little bit. But first, why don't we do some songs together and we'll come right back. Like an old hound dog Likes to lay around I want to rest in the presence of the Lord Just like a little old puppy Wags his tail when he's happy I got the joy of the Lord <laughs> Hallelujah joy of the Lord. Perfect. 
Okay, great dancing. I love moving about. I love worship songs because sometimes they help me express what's in my heart. I just can't find the right words. But then a song comes on and it's like they know what I'm feeling and thinking. And so I can sing those words to God and move my body and dance around. It feels really good to be able to praise Jesus. So today we're learning about the book of Acts. Already spoke to you about that. So Philip is in our story today. He is one of the people that went out, went out of his comfort zone, left his home and started speaking the good news, teaching people about Jesus and his sacrifice to save us from our sins. So Philip did this and uh, today we hear about uh, how he had done that in one of the towns and then after he had done that, uh, John and a friend came along and they laid their hands on the people who had said yes to Jesus and they were given the Holy Spirit. Now, you might have heard of the Holy Spirit before. We've got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, earlier, the disciples, after Jesus died, they waited around because Jesus told them to. And they were um, during a time of Pentecost where the Holy Spirit came down on them. And in the book of Acts, it actually tells us that the Holy Spirit came down like tongues of fire. Whoa. I've actually got some matches today to show you this in our object lesson. All right, I have to get in here very quick and apologize for a mistake I made today in the service. Now, in Facts About Acts, where Shaz and I were hanging out, having a good conversation on the hill, just, you know, casually talking about things in the book of Acts, I said, the Bible doesn't teach us how to act. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Does the Bible teach us how to act? Yes, it does. The Bible tells us how to act. It tells us how to act the right way. Now, whilst I made that mistake, I don't believe in what I said, okay? I was thinking something else. I was thinking of acting, as in performing, like your favorite characters on TV. They're doing a performance, an act. So that's what I was thinking. And I'm very sorry if I confused anyone. But if you picked it up and you got it right, well done. Good job, guys. So the Bible does teach us how to act. It doesn't teach us how to fake act. God really wants us to do the right thing, doesn't he? All right, let's get back to Kids Church. Who wants to see this object lesson? This is a really cool way that you could tell friends about Jesus. You're probably going to need an adult's help for this uh, because we are using scissors and matches but I'm going to tell you another way to share God's message. So I'm going to tilt my camera down. Oh, oh, so you can see where I am. Here I am ducked down. I am about to do a really cool object lesson. All right. So just here I have scissors, paper, matches, and a tea bag. Who would have thought that I could tell the story through a tea bag? Okay, so this tea bag is us. And inside this tea bag, can you see that? We've got tea leaves, but we're gonna call that sin. And we are connected by this string to things of the world, things that aren't of God, things that pull us down, draw us down um, into bad habits, uh, into doing the wrong thing or acting the wrong way. And here I have Jesus's grace. By my scissors okay so Jesus came along and he went snip and he got rid of that weight that we would carry around and he opened up our hearts Oop, so here we are here's that person opened up our hearts and look what he's going to do by dying on the cross Jesus took away our sin ho, ho, ho. 
Can you see the sin on the page? And here, this is us. We became clean, white as snow. And here we are standing up. So Jesus gives us the strength to stand, to really stand for the first time in our lives where we aren't bent. You saw how that was bent before? Bent by sin. Okay, so with this paper, he doesn't just leave our sin lying around for people to look at. Oh, that would look a bit bad. In the Bible, it says, as far as the east is from the west, that's how far our sins are removed from us. Our sins are thrown whoop, into the sea, the deepest part of the sea. And look at this. Then we are as white as snow. Our record is clean as if we had never sinned. Let's stand our bag back up. He fell down <clears throat> with that little bit of wind. So... Once we're set free from the world, saved by Jesus and purified from our sins, Jesus never abandons us. Look at this. Jesus promised <coughs> that he will send the Holy Spirit to burn in our hearts and our lives. Watch this. And now we can continue to burn for him until Jesus returns. Watch this. And when Jesus returns... He will take us to heaven with him. That's what the Bible says. We will live for eternity with God. How cool was that? Did you really like that? Did you see how it just floated up into the air? I have a memory verse, okay? I've even drawn it, made it all pretty cool. Do you think you could do some of that for us? It's a bit, a bit fun. Here we go. My memory verse says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. That's everybody. Go and make disciples of all nations. Turn the page. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. If you remember John the Baptist, he used to baptize people in the river. And that's what they would have done in the Bible, baptize people in the river. Ah, last page. And that's from our Bibles in Matthew 28, 19. Here we go. Let's say it together. I'm going to say it first and then you're going to repeat after me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Good job, guys. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And that's from Matthew 28, 19. Well done, guys. That's a really good memory verse to remember. So God has called all of us. These words, this memory verse, that is exactly what Jesus said to his disciples. And he calls us to do the same thing. He says, go out into the world and tell everyone the good news of Jesus Christ and the uh, sacrifice that he had made for us, for our sins. Now, sometimes it's easy to talk to people, as I said before. It's easy for me to talk to people about God because it's part of my job. Part of my job is talking to you guys about God all the time. But you know what? There are people who aren't Christians that need to hear the good news too. And that can be tricky even for me to tell them about Jesus. But I'm going to try anyway. I can use my words and I can use my actions. So I've already said a few today, but I'm going to say them again. We can show people the good news of God by showing them how God wants us to live. And God wants us to live kindly. He wants us to do the right thing, live with integrity, like Shaz said today. Remember, integrity, honest and truth. Okay. He wants us to um, be polite to people around us. We don't hurt people. God loves every single person and we are to treat them just like God treats us. So we don't hurt people. We don't call them names. Um, and you know what? I'm very sorry, but sometimes those things are going to happen to you. You will be hurt and you will be called names by people. But what we need to remember in those times is that God loves us and those things are not true, okay? And the person who said them might not have actually meant it. They were just a little bit upset and angry. But with God on our side, we can do the right thing 
And when bad things come along and those hurtful names or hurtful attitudes come along, we can forgive the people that have done that to us and we can help them learn how to be gracious and kind. Oh, I know, the fruits of the spirit. Who remembers the fruits of the spirit? We've got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Harry is so good at saying those ones. How about you guys? Keep practicing all your fruits of the spirit and put on the armor of God every day. And by doing those two things, you are prepared, very well prepared to go out and share the message of God. Who thinks that they would like to share the message of God? Me. All right, today, why don't you guys try and make your own memory verse? Maybe draw some pictures. I draw a picture of the world because God tells us to go out into the world and tell everybody the good news. Or maybe you would like to see if your parents can help you do the teabag gospel. Love you all very much and we will talk again soon. Bye. Bye. Let's do this. Let's start from the top. We're gonna do this song together. Follow us, we'll show you the motions. Here's the first one. Everybody, put your hands up. Yeah, get them going. First move, we're going to reach out to the side. Here we go. Everybody, everywhere, all around the world. Now side to side. There you go. Listen up right now because I got something to say and it will be heard. All right, here comes the hands move. Get ready. I made up my mind. Not move with it. Come on. That's right. Now point to yourself. Again. All right, now we're going to roll it down. Hands up. Hands up. One more time. Now point up. Come on. Here comes the fun dance part. Let's go. Come on. Now step. One, two, three, clap, back. Do it again. Now step. One, two, three, clap. Now everybody jump. Do it again. Point up. Point up. All right, everybody, hands up. Come on. We're going to point to ourselves four times on each side. Here we go. Let's do it. Do it again. Now we're going to add the step. You guys ready? Let's go. And clap. Come on. And clap. Keep going. Let's go. Do it again. Alright, here comes the dance part. Get ready. Come on. Now step. One, two, three, and clap. Do it again. Now step. One, two, three. Everybody jump. Let's go. Point up. Do it again. Get up. Point up. A step. Come on, get into it. Let's go. Same thing, except we're going to add a jump. Come on. Now everybody, get them up. Come on, get them up. 